Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the pattern feature and in particular we're going to look at the circular pattern feature as you can see in the right hand corner of the screen. If you'd like a copy of the final models please check the link in the description below and what we'll do now is jump straight into Fusion. So we've got on screen this design that I've created and I've used a sketch like so and a revolve to create that design. So what I'm going to do now is I would want, say, four or five of these copied, okay, to create a design. So rather than going in the sketch, okay, and going edit, and then thinking, right, okay, I want one over here. I'm going to draw a circle there, dimension that. I want one down the bottom, dimension that. Now, how many do I want? And working out the angles, okay. That's quite a labor-intensive, okay, and time-intensive task. So what I'm going to do is go into pattern circular pattern i'm going to select the feature so this feature here or if i wanted the entire body okay if i had certain features and what i wanted to select I the entire body it's up to you okay body or feature i'm then going to go right what axis do i want to use because i've drawn this in the middle on the axis is what axes are going from this point here so what i can do is go right what do i want i want to use that one there and as you can see, very quickly, it's created a copy of it. If I go to the front so we can see what's happening, I've got three. If I then go, actually, I want four, five, six, and so on. Now, obviously, the more you go, then it's going to start, obviously, intersecting. Okay? But it will automatically work out the angles, which is really clever, because that's now 90 degrees to it, because there's four. Okay, 120 degrees, because there's three of them. Okay, which is really clever. The other clever thing is you've then got this suppress again still. So say you wanted them spacing 90 degrees, but you don't want this particular one, you can then turn that off. Very quickly, we've created a design. Okay, a very complex design, just using the circular pattern. And click OK. Now that we've used the circular pattern feature to pattern so these bodies to create a design, what you might want to do is create a circular pattern but choose a feature okay, within a body. So what we mean by that is if we have a look at this design here, we've got this sort of disc and we've got a hole here. So a counterboard hole with a thread going down the, the center of it. Okay. So what we can do is say I wanted Okay, say 20 of them going around, I can now decide, all right, um, to pattern that. So I'm going to go up to create, and I'm going to use this circle pattern again. We're going to choose the feature, which is the hole, and we're going to choose the axis. So the axis could be this green one here, or I could even use an edge okay, as well to uh, define that. It's going to go to the top. And at the moment, we've got three, and it's creating those equally spaced. And again, you can go up and create as many as you want and click OK. And what that would do is that has patterns that all the way through. So if you wanted a series of those, that's you know quickly done. However, if you've got to remember that this one is the parent. So therefore, if I edit this and change it, so for example, I want to change this to say seven and click OK then the rest will change. They are not independent, okay? They, they look at the parent and they are copied from that. So that's important, okay, to understand. So if we click undo. The other thing, if we edit this, again, we can uh, untick some instances if you want to miss certain ones out. And then we can uh, tick those to put them back in, like so. And the other thing, what we've got at the moment is we've got spacing full. So what we haven't looked at is that's working out that basically I want 13 of those within 360 degrees. However, what we're going to do is going to look at angle. So say I want this to go 180 degrees. So only from there down to the bottom. Now 13 might be a bit too much. I could go six and click OK. So now we've learned about how to actually change the angle Okay, they are patterned within. So just by going up to here and changing it full and going angle. So that's a very, very simple thing to do. What 
What we're going to change next, if we go to symmetric, then what you'll see is it's going 180 degrees, okay, from here. And if we click OK, you can see what it's done. So I'll just go edit, and go feature. I'm going to go five. OK, from that one there, it's gone symmetrical. It's going either side in 90 degrees, OK, which makes 180 overall. And it's dividing this up to to have five. So two there, two there and the original one. OK, if I change that to, say, six, OK, Again, it's going 180 degrees, but it's dividing this now into six, as you can see there. And I could go back in, and obviously I could change this to say, okay, minus 180 by say two, and then it's just putting down one down the bottom. So you just got to, depending on what you want to achieve, is mess around with obviously your angle, okay, and symmetric to achieve what you want it to do. So I'm just gonna go back to full, type in 12, click OK, and I've created that design. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.